So I'd like to welcome our dear brother, Eric. Welcome. Om Shanti, Manididi, and greetings of love to each and every one. Always lovely to be back every Saturday evening. So thank you for having me with you. Always very, very nice, uh, Sister Mooney. <laughs> And I was thinking that, um, you know, last week we had to chat on the tree. <laughs> so I thought that this week we can have to chat in the room of the alchemist. And when you mentioned earlier that this is the return journey, you know, and we're going back. Uh, I heard a few people asking questions this week about this notion of alloy in the soul and how we get alloy you know, from in silver, copper, iron. And sometime when we go back, Baba says, you haven't even reached your copper aged stage or your silver aged stage. So I was wondering if you want to have to chat on this question of alloy. What is it? How we remove it? How to, you know, what is your, your view on Sometimes Baba talks about purifying the soul, increasing the power, returning to sovereignty. But this alloy is there in the soul. What is your what are your thoughts about alloy and removing it in the soul? Mm. <clears throat> yeah. Actually, every birth, you no, know, we do actions and then sanskars are created. And then while doing actions, the quality of actions, when the quality of actions are rajoguni, <clears throat> so the alloy of those sanskars are within the soul, and then we come down, then it's, uh, you know, first is copper age, then iron age. <clears throat> but from very beginning of golden age, <clears throat> like take, changing the body, because body is like ornament, right? So from gold making ornament, so little alloy is added. And then every birth, then another birth, <clears throat> the 16 or 14 carat gold is not 14 carat because it has been, you know, birth after birth, alloy of... Uh, it's more like the degrees of purity reduce every birth. But there is not major change in golden age and silver age. It's very, very slight because all the actions are viceless. There are no karmic accounts created. There is no negativity. Even if there is very gradual decline in the degrees, or in, uh, that means little alloy is getting mixed every time. But it is towards the end of silver age that when the decline has reached to a point of alloy, that body consciousness begins. And it's so interesting, body consciousness at that time will not be, it's not we won't be aware. We won't be aware of body consciousness, nor there will be any vices no pull of sense organs to uh, get into physical <clears throat> enjoyment or there is no pull of the body, <clears throat> one's own body or looking at each other. There's still a lot of, lot of purity there. And then of course, when body consciousness then declined, so our actions then begin so body consciousness and attachment, losing my entity, identifying more with the material matter. And then of course, the more and more alloy. So alloy is actually of the quality of actions we do. You know, that means when there is like anger begins and now in Iron Age, there is, you know, very, very mafia type of anger changes into violence and uh, so then we call it like there is so much alloy of those actions that we call it as iron. So iron, silver, metallic, you know, names of the metals have been used. But if we just think what 
is silver alloy, what is gold, you know, copper alloy. So it's, I don't think we need to think in those terms of metals, but comparison is given that the value reduces, decline is there, and from copper is then iron. Iron is the, uh, the cheapest uh, dark color metal. So I think, so now, actually it's very, very interesting to look into that when there is alloy, our thoughts are mixed. You know, some thoughts are like um, not very good, like Kalyugi thoughts, some thoughts are mixed thoughts, pure, impure, and then keep improving. There is more pure, and Satoguni means I have only pure thoughts, you know? So this is how, when alloy is removed and that is through remembrance, sometimes I sit with Baba and with this whole concept of that yoga is a fire and I have to purify. So I sit with Baba and as I am really uh, totally merged in Baba's love, I do feel something is melting. You know, maybe some, so I feel it's like a law is melting and my feelings are changing and uh, there is very, very deep feelings of, of, you know, complete purity. So that percentage keep increasing. And morning time is very good when you really could burn, ignite this fire of yoga and say, I have to burn. Uh, so the traces from yesterday or something I've taken to my heart, something I'm holding, I want to burn it completely and just be a pure gold with no alloy. So that has, could be a good experience also in the morning. You I seem referring to, uh, you seem referring to alloy that comes from yesterday. So there's different kind of alloys, maybe some that are very old in yeah. the soul and some that are just trying to regain a little bit of ground on the soul that we need to clean every day, right? Some we even we might not know, but mm -hmm. it's only when you burn the fire and you sit in that fire or put soul into that fire, then you start feeling that what is being removed, uh, it's like, you know, it's, it's just you could feel that was somewhere, as you, I said, from recent past, some could be from very old. And same is like, you know, even with karmic accounts, some we know could be recent karmic accounts, and some are very, very old ones, old sanskars. So I think that, yes, it's all all together new and old so when baba mentions that you haven't reached you know we have heard that i think a few weeks ago he said maybe you haven't reached your silver aged stage yet so we're going backwards and removing the alloy going from iron to copper silver how do we know if we're going to get stuck in the silver <laughs> and not make it to the gold, what will be the sign that we change from silver to gold? Mm -hmm. When do you get your gold medal, basically? What's the difference between getting a gold medal and a silver medal? I think everyone knows that, right? In the beginning, we used to get a silver badge, right? And mm -hmm. then some got gold and we said, oh, how come when are we going to get gold ones? Because, and then one day I know that Janki said, Oh, silver one gets so black. So why we gave and then we have to give everyone gold. So time came and everyone got gold. Yeah, of course, there is always this thought. I think that Sato Pradhan stage is where our, the thoughts, the power, the energy of the thoughts is very high quality, you know. When I say high quality, that it radiates, it has... Uh, such powerful vibrations that it can also purify. You know, it's not only I am becoming pure, but I can also help in purifying. And you can talk to matter, nature, with the souls in that stage. And I think we are crossing the border, right? 
this word of sometimes which baba doesn't like also that sometimes sato sometimes rajo before i used to say we are on the borderline of sato and rajo but now i say that we are in, on the border of sato and sato pradhan very little more is required for purity complete purity we are even in very subtle form any doubt or uncertainty insecurity or anything which very subtly arises if when we will be able to overcome that also that we are moving towards golden you know gold badge or golden or sato pradhan state so if we keep the thought i have to be sato pradhan that means totally sato you know not only sato but climax of purity and i think through remembrance of baba doing elevated uh, karma yoga all these different ways uh, we are moving towards our sato pradhan stage when i came in knowledge because i had certain like you no know, not interest on many things so mama used to say you are sato guni soul so i used to feel happy that she is telling me that so then i thought oh that's so good i have to go now only one step becomes sato pradhan but also lot of our uh, you know there was one brother he always used to say oh, i when i describe about peaceful age or anything he said you will always get all these beautiful places because you are satoguni so when two three people said it then i realized that how satogun you know creates or you get whatever is from the sato energy then i said oh but i have to use this more for baba's task but also i have to become sato pradhan so i really believe that if we pay little bit attention on as soon as there is any thought we feel is not of that quality you know just change it just remove it or start thinking of baba so that purification can happen so little traces can be easily removed we can call it alloy yeah. well you seem very fortunate you know we've been listening carefully and it seems to me that when you started this life your life you skipped iron and copper <laughs> alloy <laughs> I, i don't know, know how you did but you started straight from satoguni stage and so what was your experience of going in the return journey like this removing alloy <laughs> do you feel that uh, there was almost nothing to remove or it was just very little little and was there a turning point where you felt from that silver to that gold or i don't What? even dare talking about iron and copper it seems like you you missed those uh, <laughs> return journey <laughs> i think that um, somewhere each one of us has that quality but to make it consistent is more important each one of us know our goodness you know like i am a kind person i am compassionate or i don't think bad about anyone even before gyan it's not everyone had bad wishes nature or to curse anyone you know some of us always thought that like for me i thought everyone should be happy because even if one person at home is not happy then whole house is you know like heavy energy so charitable heart and kindness and all that i think we all have those qualities but somewhere with the struggle with maya we lose those qualities and we start questioning should i be kind like this even if the result you don't see but uh, you know if i believe in karma then i have to keep sowing the seed i don't have to worry about what's the result because i know that every seed will uh, you know when reap will definitely have beautiful fruits so i think we all have those qualities it's only question of making them consistent and believe in them always trust your principles 
always trust your goodness, you know. Sometimes we doubt our goodness. It's not going to work. If I'm so honest in this world, it's not going to work, right? But I know if I'm not honest, I'm in trouble. Some people think that if we are honest, we are in trouble. For me, I feel even if anything I say in words, which I know that I use forcefully, it troubles me more than though to whom I said. So then I realized that, you know, it is always to have this trust on the goodness within the self, which could be subtle one. Briefly, in a, just a few minutes left, but Baba often mentioned that if there is this samskar of struggling, you mentioned earlier mixing, you know, like mixed thoughts. But for many, I think, yeah, I think Satopranan stage is getting there, but uh, I think some may feel sometimes that there's still a little bit of conflict, you know, in their mind. Does that mean they will only claim silver badge and silver ring and silver crown and silver throne, <laughs> or will they get also to the to the gold ones? <laughs> yeah. Like Dadi Janki said, everyone should get gold. So I'm sure everyone will get it. Once there is realization that the way you know, sometimes you say things which uh, I find sometimes are very forceful. But if that soul thinks that if someone says same way to me, how will I feel? You know, and uh, saying things in a way where trying to kind of, you know, breaking the trust of that soul or confidence of the soul, not realizing that I am doing that. But I notice a lot that happens and I I just feel like, you know, it has to change. So I think this, this change will happen. It's only happened then when there is some big thing happen in the life. You know, sometimes people, their body gets sick or they, are, they find their energy is getting lower. So then they realize there must be something in their sanskars where they have to change. And if they will change it, then the body will function completely in a different way. So I think that drama will take us there. Baba is def definitely taking us there. So realization and learning will bring a lot of transformation. And I always believe in that. That's what when Dadi Janki said, don't lose your bhavana. So I always say, Let's see that person, the way Baba look at every one of us. I think that will definitely help the soul. So keeping bhavna takes us beyond many, many things, you know. I really like this little, you know, versions of Dadi Janki were so beautiful. That don't get tired, don't get fed up, don't change your bhavna. So definitely, we all will get gold badge. We all, <laughs> all, otherwise, we all have to be together and we will go to golden age, you know, Sato Pradhan world. So definitely, we all will get gold badge. If you don't have it, you tell me, I will give you. <laughs> <laughs> because yeah. I, am, I am celebrating, you know, 80th birthday. I haven't thought much. But definitely one thought I had that Baba's every child should get gold badge. <laughs> you see, sometimes I, I ask you a question and I, I know you will offer, you know, knowledge and wisdom, but your speciality has not turned into making knowledge into blessings. So when asking for explanation about how to get make sure we get to the golden stage. I think we all get the blessing now. We all reach and have the golden bat. So thank you for <laughs> making the last step of the journey back easy. <laughs> and good news for everyone, we all get gold bat. So we'll be prepared in many ways and we'll reach the golden stage very, very, very quickly. So thank yes. you for yes. your thoughts and your blessings. <laughs> yeah, something badge or ring or some token everyone will get <laughs> mm. i have okay. badge and ring i'm missing the crown so maybe we can <laughs> have the crown <laughs> okay.
That's <laughs> thank awesome. you, Manidhi. Thank you very much. Om Shanti. Om Shanti. Thank you. Good night.